Hey guys, how you doing? So I thought this little comment on my Discord server, the Code Long and Profit Discord server, might be useful to you guys. So let me just jump to it. So we have this guy, uh, Peterson, here. And he says, hey, everybody, or everyone. I am a C++ dev, and I mostly did embedded Linux stuff, which is something I really enjoyed. Uh, I decided to move from my current job, where I have been past four years and got this feeling that I do not know anything anymore. Though big thanks to Uncle Steph for keeping me keeping my heads up. So he references a video which I will link to. Uh, this video made me join and, be and below I will explain why. Four years ago I got sucked in by corporate to maintain a 30 year old C++ code base at the interview, I got to solve this problem. Sum two numbers in two linked lists in form of single digits with, with hundreds of nodes in each list. I did a nice, neat solution for it and got some questions about algorithms, data structures, and how they work in uh, standard C++, STD C++. That was it. Not the smoothest ride, but I got the offer. And now, and that was one of the last times I did some coding which required my own thought. The past two years, I have been just attending meetings and shoveling XML and JSONs from one place to another. So today, I want to get back to C++ CPP coding, C++ coding, and have a feeling that I know nothing. Two lessons for me. That video linked above, well, it's actually right here, uh, drops the sad truth about description requirements versus actual work you will be doing. If you have a chance to talk to your colleagues during inter the interview process, do so and ask, what will your actual day-to-day -day task be? Of course, I'm, I'm not reading it verbatim, but, you know, keep in mind, keep your mind occupied with some actual dev project in your spare time. Keep up with the trends and technologies. Uh, there we go. So he referenced, here's the article. You can just, uh, the video rather, you can check it out yourself. So quick commentary. So something I've been talking about for a long time is that a lot of the, um, tests that they have developers run through is, to get jobs, it, a lot of times they're silly and they're nonsensical, meaning they're test, they'll test for algorithms, they'll have you do these, uh, you know, like, like the tests he did, you know, very, uh, problems in logic and stuff. And to me, it, the, a lot of these tests that these HR departments have people run through is akin to having somebody solve a crossword puzzle. It's like having somebody solve a crossword puzzle or win a, a game of Scrabble if you're trying to hire them, if you're thinking of hiring them to write, uh, I don't know, magazine articles or something. It's that silly. And as this guy pointed out, what he ended up actually doing had nothing to do with what he was tested for, which is kind of dumb. For me, when I hire people, I actually test them for what they're going to be doing. Isn't that interesting? Well, you know, if I want them to build web apps, I'm not going to test them for algorithms because you don't write algorithms in web apps. All right, the sun is coming through. Ah. All right, I hope you find use of this in this video. Um, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. You decide what you want to do with it. Cheers. Oh, yeah, check out my Discord below. Code Long and Profit Discord server. Over 3,000 people on it, so it's been pretty good. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye.